What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another gameplay commentary. So, for those who don't know, Call of Duty had a Warzone event basically hyping up for the new Call of Duty game that's coming out later on this year. You could have did the Easter egg. There's like certain things you had to collect. And um, I think within the Easter egg, you get a blueprint of a, of a marksman rifle. After you do that, there's like this big in-game event that's happening like within the war zone map you head to the stadium everyone runs to the stadium for the map gets new it's it's dope it shows you the trailer at the end it shows you a little bit of like some teases of the multiplayer and um i think it was pretty cool i i, I like the integration of you know getting people hyped up for the new game um i believe the multiplayer reveal will be on september 9th and the full game will be released on November 13th. If you saw my last commentary video, I'm still not as hyped. I, I think it's going to be dope. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm just not sold yet. You know, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they have in store for us for the multiplayer reveal. That's that's where I'm, I'm really going to be, you know, kind of trying to set my eyes on. The cinematics look good. Like. I think Call of Duty, when it comes to like creating good cinematics, I think they always, you know, they're on point with that, in my opinion. So the cinematics look good. The, the graphics look good from the cinematics itself. But outside of that, it, you know, it wasn't mind blowing. Is anybody up here? It's just me, huh? But no, I, I'm. It's, it's cool, I guess. He's right here. All right, good shit, teammates. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, man. Let me turn this up. So, depending on how the multiplayer is looking, that's really, you know, where I will, you know, be kind of making my judgment on and uh they're gonna have an open beta so you know once the you know i get my hands on open beta i'm a you know i'll have a better idea of how you know how maybe the game is gonna play and, and feel multiplayer wise so from there i'll be able to you know make my my proper judgment but as of now it's, it's just you know it's more or less what i expect from call of duty so nothing too crazy but I, I, I just, the only thing I do like is the integration of it. Oh, you got to push up there with me, bro. I like the integration of it within the new game. Well, not the new game, but within Warzone. I think that's what makes it great. Outside of that, it's more or less the same. Bro, why do I always end up in lobbies like this? I'm going to back out. I don't want to back out, but look at this, bro. Look at the lobby I'm in. Bro, no one can kill this. Oh, my God, bro. <sighs> Y'all always catch me in lobbies when I'm about to back out. Because people be acting like they can't get goddamn kills. All right, we're getting some now. Oh, my. That's, that was an easy kill, dude. This is risky. Oh, that was risky. Got that kill? Oh my gosh. That's what I want to know. Who's really hyped? Who's just like, eh? And who doesn't even care? If I would have lost that gunfight, bro. He's over here. Oh my god. Damn, C4. 
I got surrounded, so. It's an easy kill right there. But yeah, I don't know. I'm, 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 we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping that it is, you know, good. I'm hoping that, it, you know, they really learn from the mistakes they made on this game and the decisions they made on this game and, you know, they can expound on it so it's not more or less the same. That's really it. That's that's kind of where, where I'm at when it comes to Call of Duty. Because if you play one Call of Duty, you've played them all. From the, well, this is probably the, the, the most different, like, different aesthetically wise like graphic wise this is probably the most unique oh god damn it i'm doing okay oh man <laughs> I'm doing okay. I don't even really play no OBJ like that, but I'm doing my thing. I'm doing the best I can. I gotta. I'm telling you, y'all. Like this commentary. Oh. I gotta get used to playing the game and talking. That shit is not easy to do well at. Cause I don't want to stink up the joint. I want to do well while talking to you guys. Cause that's the whole point. Uh, who wants? I mean, uh, there's some people that they don't really talk in their gameplays, and that's cool. But are these guys idiots? What did he, bro? Oh my god, dog! Oh my god! It's like how you guys don't see. God damn it, bro! <sighs> He's right here. Yep. That stun saved his life. Because when you get stunned in this game, you're dead. You're done. Unless they're idiots. Fuck you. Fuck you. There's one above me. Got you. There's one more up here. Uh huh. All right, easy, easy. On a little streak, streaky streak. Now earlier today, I dropped a 92 bomb. Like I was legit going off, bro. But once again, I wasn't recording. I was actually able to concentrate and shit. And I was dropping motherfuckers, bro. Shit was great. Kind of like a little bit what I'm doing now. But it was much better, bro. I was destroying people earlier today. I posted a screenshot of the of the in-game results on my Instagram, bro. One of my homies said, oh, you definitely hacking. I'm like, nah, bro. No hacks over here, bro. Oh, well, God damn it. That's <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it, dude. I fucked that up. See, I, I'm, I play much better when I'm not talking. But I'm, I'm going to get there, y'all. Just give me some time. I shouldn't have probably challenged that. But, uh, you know, sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit. Now, the one thing I'm not a big fan of is people riding the hate train when it comes to the new Call of Duty. I think we all know people like that. They're just quick to say, oh, the new game's going to be trash before they even play it. And it's like, I don't want to do that. You know, I, I want to give it a fair chance. You know, it's just I'm also going to be realistic with my expectations of this game. And I think that's where I messed up with Modern Warfare because, you know, it seemed like they were going back to their roots and they were for a little bit, you know, nostalgia wise, but they changed so much of what Call of Duty is used to having. It, you know, it 
it, it kind of, you know, it it didn't really work for me well at times. So, like, there's still some things I don't like about this game. Like, I don't like the fact that you can't stack streaks. Like, that that's a staple in Call of Duty, stacking streaks. And the only reason why they took it out in this game, because they didn't want newer players just leaving and quitting. I'm like, that's part of Call of Duty, baby. Sometimes you're going to get smacked and you got to leave the game. But that's how you learn how to get better. So, like I said, the multiplayer reveal in the open beta will definitely help me out and give me a clear idea of how I want to play the game and, and, you know, if I'm going to, you know, be as excited for it. Because regardless of it, most likely I am going to buy the game for sure, but it just depends on how much I'll end up playing it as much. And I, I hope I'm able, you know, I'm hoping it's a it turns out good so I can play it as much as possible. And I completely got smacked. That was awful of me. That was bad. Oh, but OK. All right. Sure. You know, is he right here? Where is he? Shout out to the dude that keeps running to the same spot where the dude's looking at. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I fucked them up in there. Here they come, y'all. All right, good shit. God damn, it's getting real in here. push out oh I don't know how I got that kill Ooh, it's getting real we can actually uh, could we win this maybe I'm gonna push back Push back, push back. We well, actually could possibly win this. I think if we got to hold all the OBJs. I turned this game around. I will say that. I was getting smacked at first. Oh, I got my chopper gunner. Bet that's all I wanted. All right, let's get it going. Ooh. Turned it around. I was thinking up to join the first, thinking about leaving, but did the thing, man. They got to get them off the point, though. They got to get them off the point. If they don't get them off the point, we lose. I'm trying to keep them off the point. Oh, yeah. It's getting real. Oh, okay. Well, they shot me down. Almost had the 60 bomb. Oh, well, yeah. They won it. Yeah, they won it. Yeah. I tried. Tried, y'all. Can't win them all. Cannot win them all. But I, I'm, I'm not bad with the score. I started off struggling. Like I said, I just got to get used to what is he doing? I got to get used to, you know, just playing the game, like, and commentating at the same time. But I'm going to get there. 58 and 15, not bad. Not bad. No reverse boosting over here because that's legit. That's legit skill-based matchmaking. But, yeah, man, I, I want to know if you guys was able to do the Easter egg in, in Warzone. Are you guys excited? Are you looking forward to it still? 
are you gonna wait till you make your judgment until the the open beta release and or maybe you know when they reveal the multiplayer trailer will that be the point where you make your decision me personally i'm probably going to buy the game it's just not as hyped as everyone else is but i'm also not overly negative and thinking it's just going to be a shit show i want to give call of duty the benefit of the doubt because why not you know what i'm saying there's it's nothing wrong with that but i would like your guys opinions on this uh this whole situation so comment down below let me know what you think but i appreciate all the love and support more call of duty content will be coming out this week because we have a hurricane on the way in houston texas so i ain't going nowhere so hopefully as long as my internet holds up i'm be dropping some some call of duty content vids for you guys so appreciate all the love and support appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace